Hello and welcome to Celix's webinar on chemo pump applications. My name is Dmitry Kashanin. I am CTO of Celix Limited. I'm glad you could join us today. I'm going to start with introduction of chemo pump and uh, explain you how to use the chemo pump and iChemo application. Then I will give you several examples of uh, application of chemo pump in your studies and we'll finish uh, with brief summary. The chemo pump has a set of distinct features. First of all, it uh, allows uh, users to, to grow uh, monolayers of cells within the microchannels. It also supplies nutrients and oxygen and CO2 necessary for cell growth. It uh, alternates perfusion uh, of uh, cell media with uh, pose time. It allows you to pretreat the cells with a range of different drugs and also pretreat them with uh, high shear stress. The unique feature of chemo pump that it, it's been used with uh, standard CO2 incubators. And it's also compatible with Celex's Vena line of biochips and other flow chambers. It's easy to use and has a friendly application which is running on iPod Touch or on iPhone. Uh, it also allows to multiplex different samples because it, it can uh, perfuse up to eight channels in parallel. The pump consists of a pump controller and pump drive. The pump controller allows to uh, attach uh, up to four of these pump drives. Uh, the pump controller also has the, uh, the docking station for iPod Touch and it's also equipped with Wi-Fi receiver. So even if the iPod Touch is not docked, the controller can be programmed to uh, operate up to four different pumps. This image displays the connection of Kima pump to Vena 8 biochip. In this case, the bottle is pre-filled with media and the pump inlet tube in immersed into the uh, media inside the bottle. The pump outlet tubing is connected to the biochip. The outlet of the biochip is further connected to biochip outlet tubing and goes inside the same bottle. In this configuration, the chemo pump allows the recirculation of the media through the biochip and back into the media bottle. The chemo pump can be programmed uh, remotely uh, using the iChemo application which is running on the iPod Touch, which is supplied with the chemo pump. Uh, first, uh, to start the, you start the application and then connect to the uh, chemo pump, either using Wi-Fi network or by plugging the iPod Touch in the universal dock on the chemo pump. Then the second tab, it has a washout option. If you'd like to clean the pump before use uh, with ethanol or other cleaning solution, uh, we suggest to use this tab. Uh, in third tab, you can pre-program to pump to run uh, in perfusion mode. And there you set up the perfusion time and pause time. And the pump will then operate continuously. And uh, in fact, the application can be closed at that stage. The iChemo application allows to pre-program the chemo pump to switch on and switch off at the specified time. And we do it by setting up the pause time and perfusion time. This can be varied from one minute up to several hours. For example, you can start and perfuse uh, media for two minutes and then pause it for another 20 minutes and this will be continuously repeated throughout your experiment. The chemo pump can be uh, set up to perform continuous perfusion of uh, and feeding of the cells inside Celex's Vena 8 biochips. In this case, sometimes it's required to coat the biochip with uh, a specific adhesion molecule to mobilize cells. And this uh, is done at 4 degrees overnight. And then the sample of uh, cells are injected, typically at quite high concentration, and allows to uh, sit in the incubator for up to 2 hours to create a monolayer of the cells. 
Prior to the experiment, the chemo pump needs to be cleaned with 70% uh, ethanol, and all the tubing of the chemo pump need, needs to be autoclaved. Uh, once the wash is completed, the uh, chemo pump needs to be pre-filled with uh, culture media coming from the bottle for at least three minutes. And then the biochips can be connected to the chemo pump uh, as it's shown on this diagram. Uh, the chemo pump together with the biochips is then placed inside the CO2 incubator. And this shows the image of uh, cells perfused for up to from 24 to 78 hours. Chemopump finds its application in a range of different uh, disease areas and assays. Uh, for example, inflammation, cardiovascular, oncology, and um, respiratory. It also allows to perform uh, different assays uh, using the um, microchannel structures. For example, you can do long term cell culture or cell culture under continuous shear stress. It can also be applied for bacterial culture and biofilm culture. Uh, it can be uh, used for toxicology studies um, using drugs and uh, also looking at long-term effects of treatment uh, of cells with uh, nanomaterial. This is the example of uh, automated cell culture on the floor where we used uh, endothelial cells uh, and culture them over 72 hours. In this case, the coating is uh, been done with fibronectin, which was stored overnight to allow the adhesion of, of the molecules. And then we took a 5 microliter per channel of endothelial cells at concentration of 15 million per mil and injected into, the, uh, into each of the channels. Then the biochip was played in, into CO2 incubator for two hours to allow adhesion of this. Uh, this is how it looks after two hours. All the channels are uh, quite confluent. But if we connect it to the uh, pump and perfuse it uh, over 72 hours, we could see that the uh, phenotype of the cells is completely changing from very rounded and uh, quite separated to, to stretched and very, with very tight junctions. Additionally to culturing only one cell type, it is possible to co-culture several cells together. For example, if one would like to recreate the metastatic process and uh, look at the uh, uh, extravasation of uh, cancer cells through the endothelial layer, we recommend to use uh, a model where two cells are present at the same time, the endothelial cells, and in this case it's a lung cancer. Uh, cell line 1205LU. The lung cancer cells are GFP tagged in order to distinguish between the uh, endothelial cells and them um, transmigrating through the endothelial layer. What we do instead of uh, injecting only one cell type, we inject the endothelial cells first, allow them to settle for two hours, and then inject the uh, lung cancer cells and allow them to settle for further 20 minutes. And these are the images of cells which were cultured uh, for the period of uh, 17 hours together. So as you can see on the left-hand side image, you can, you can see the endothelial cells which are stretched and polarized, and also the fluorescent image overlaid on the, on the bright field image which shows the uh, lung cancer cells. This is a separate image on the right-hand side showing lung cancer cells only. This is the application where you, we use chemo pump and biochips to culture bacterial biofilms. In this case, we used Vina 8 Fluoroplus biochip. It has 8 microcapillaries of dimensions of 400 micrometer wide and 100 micrometer deep, and they are covered with 0.17 millimeter uh, cover slip. In this case, we coated uh, the channels with monomanose or trimanose to ensure the adhesion of bacteria. Uh, we have used the E. coli bacteria and uh, after overnight incubation at 4 degrees the monomanose and trimanose sticks to the bottom of the channel. The chemo pump is connected then to a biochip 
and we use the specific media for E. coli in the bottle of the um, uh, chemo pump. As I already explained, chemo pump is controlled by I chemo up, which allows the washout of the chemo pump and also setting of the perfusion and pose time. It facilitates the constant flow of media from the bottle through the biochip. In this case, the media contained bacteria, which started to adhere to the uh, ligon coat at the bottom of the channel and produce the colonies and also produce the biofilm. The chemo pump also can be used with different chambers and uh, flow apparatus in order to grow the biofilms in different uh, conditions. And another application uh, where we culture biofilm was uh, culturing of Staphylococcus epidermidis uh, bacteria. And in this case, the channels were actually uncoated, uh, so we just uh, used a straight uh, a V98 fluoroplast biochip seeded 5 microliters of bacteria at the concentration of 15 million bacteria per milliliter into each channel. Again, we allow them to incubate for one and a half, two hours to ensure the adhesion of bacteria and then connect it to chemo pump and fusion. And this water uh, can be absorbed after 18 hours of perfusion of bacteria using chemo pump and the V98 Plus chip, as you can see, starting from this uh, image of the one and a half hours and this image of the, of the perfusion overnight. So it created a complete biofilm and bacteria has grown. Uh, this is the application where chemo pump and biochips were used uh, for nanoparticle uptake studies. We have used in this case V98 and the Tilio Plus biochip. This is slightly larger and it has 800 micrometer wide channels by 120 micrometer deep channels. We coated it with fibronectin in order to promote uh, cell adhesion. This again was stored at 4 degrees to allow binding of the adhesion molecules. Then the TLL cell suspension then wa was introduced in each of the channels. The cells were kept for one and a half hours in the CO2 incubator in order to make sure that they firmly attach to the surface. This is the layer of, of endothelial cells after 90 minutes of. Then we connected the uh, biochip to chemo pump and perfused the just fresh media over the period of uh, 24 to 72 hours. Again, the chemo, chemo pump is controlled by iPhone and the iChemo application. This is the flow of fresh media through the biochip. Chemo pump allows recirculation and uh, growing of the cells inside these microchannels. For the nanoparticle uptake, we have used uh, a media which contains a nanoparticle solution. And after 24 hours, we have replaced the standard media, which has no nanoparticles, for media which contains the different sizes of quantum dots. There were different uh, also properties of quantum dots. Some of them they were negatively charged, some of them were positively charged. 
they will pump through the uh, biochip for the period of uh, from two to four hours. Some of the uh, dots were GFP tagged and we have observed the uptake of these nanoparticles by endothelial cells. Fluorescent images were taken then post-experiment using high content screening uh, tools. We also looked at unactivated and TNF alpha activated HUVAX and the uptake of positively and negatively recharged uh, quantum dots. In summary, Kima Pump has a set of unique features. First of all, it operated with iPod Touch, which is convenient and uh, friendly uh, interface. It also allows to connect four pumps in parallel perfusion up to 32 ch micro channels. It has an active flow mechanism and it guarantees the perfusion and reliability. It also mi makes a physiological shear stress microenvironment. Uh, it allows uh, quite easily set up uh, automated long-term cell culture on the biochips. Um, the results of these experiments uh, become more reproducible and also validated. It's uh, fairly flexible. It allows to vary the um, uh, different perfusion rates and also operates in the microliter volume assays uh, compared to uh, pumping milliliters of, of media. It has a variety of different applications. It's compatible with uh, Vina 8 biochips and also biochips from different manufacturers. Thank you for your attention.